What's up everybody? Welcome to Rock and Groove. Jason here and today we're going to talk about how to tune your guitar without a tuner. What's up everyone? Welcome to Rock and Groove, your one-stop shop for all things guitar. This video is going to focus on a type of tutorial that every guitar player should be able to do, especially beginners. So I'm going to focus this at you. I don't care what your age is, I don't care what you're wanting to do with a guitar, but if you're starting to learn, this is something you need to learn to do, something you need to master. And that's going to be how to tune your guitar without a tuner. Now, of course, everyone needs a tuner. So you need to get your hands on a tuner some way. One of the clip-ons up on the head, or a tuner pedal, or anything like that. My pedal board has a tuner pedal on it, and I use that. I use that for a mute, but also for a tuner. So everybody needs a tuner. However, there will be situations where you may not have a tuner on you and you need to rely on yourself on getting your guitar tuned. I remember when I started first playing guitar in 1998. I was 17 and I just started playing. I didn't have a tuner. I barely had an amp that worked and my guitar was subpar, but it didn't matter. I played and I had a lot of fun. As a matter of fact, the guitar I started playing on was a tiny youth Yamaha guitar and the strings were about an inch away from the fretboard. It didn't stop me. I had to learn to play, and I started learning, but I didn't have any way to tune that guitar. So I had to learn how to do it on my own. And one thing that I remember a really good music teacher of mine back in junior high and high school, one thing he taught me was how to tune the guitar without a tune. But unfortunately, there's one thing you do need to know and do need to have done before you can tune your guitar in any way. That is knowledge of your strings and having that top E string, the fat one, already in it. All right. So one thing in your strings that we have, we have our six strings right here. So the skinny one at the bottom here is actually it looks like the bottom of the guitar, but actually that's the top E, high E string. And as it goes up, we have our B, our G, our D, our A, then our big fat E again. All you need to know is the big fat one here. That's your E string. And you need to have that in tune before you can go forward with anything else. Now, of course, there are many ways we can do this. I can only tell you my own personal way. Back in 98, the only thing that I could do is I grabbed a particular song that I used to love and listen to. It was Collective Soul, Sister Don't Cry. And I'll actually have a link for it down in the description if you want to go to it and see what I'm talking about. But the one thing I remember was that first note in the song was an E. So all I had to do was tune my top string to that note. So if I could do that, I'd stop the song and I'd go from there. Then after I got that top string, I was ready to rock and I could do everything else on my own. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to talk about how you, using your top E string, can tune all your strings without a tuner. Alright, so let's get to tuning this baby. Let me start right off from the top and let you know what this thing sounds like right now. That's out of tune. We want to get it to a standard E tuning. That's your standard guitar tuning. So how can I do this? Let's just say I don't have a tuner around. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I want to play. This happens a lot with beginner guitar players. They get their guitar, let's say they go to lessons, their instructor tunes their guitar for them. They leave, they get home, they mess around with it, drop it on the ground, little brother gets it, something like that. Next thing you know, it's out of tune and they can't practice for the rest of the week. So how can we deal with this situation? All right, like I said, you need to get that top E string to an E. I already have that one to an E. There's my E. I know that one's good. Everything else is really messed up. So now I need to get every other string in line. So this is the magic number, five, all right? So we know that if we go down to our fifth fret, one, two, three, four, five, our fifth fret here, that's going to be the magic number except for one string, and I'll show you. So every note, when it is pushed down on the fifth fret, should be identical to the string right below when it is open. So let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to take my index finger, I'm going to push down this top fat string, my E string, on the fifth fret. That should be my A, and that should be the string right under it here. That should be this string open, as if meaning that you're not pushing it down, you're just playing it wide open. That's all. So let's tune it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to push this, and then I'm going to pick it. There we go. There's my A. The open string below it should have that same note. Okay, it doesn't. 
That right there is flat. That means it's too low. I need to tighten it. So that's what I'm going to do. That should be good. A little bit off. Nope. There it is. I've got it now. Now, what you'll notice is the more you do this, the better you'll train your ear to hear those subtleties, especially the waves. And so what you'll do here, li listen to see if you can hear a wave. There's a little something going on, and it's big waves. The closer you get to the note that you want, the waves will start to get smaller, and they'll start to do like a wah, 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 and when you finally hit that note, it evens out. So let's go from the next one. Now, how do I get my third from the top going? Well, I go down to my next string, the one we just tuned, and I push it on the fifth fret, pluck it, and now that should be the same note as the one below it, open. It's almost, it's a little bit off. Can you hear a wave? So let me tune that. And it may take you a little bit to do this. I remember sometimes I really made my guitar worse from trying this, but that was just my ear. I was training my ear. All right, we're ready. We're good. Now that I've tuned this D string, the third one from the top, I push that one down on the fifth fret and I tune the string under it when it's open. So notice that. I need to tighten it. There it is. That's it. In tune. Next. Now this is the one that's special. This one here is the first string that doesn't have the winds around it. You can see it's smooth metal all the way down. It's actually your third string from the bottom. It's string number three. So one, two, three. Here it is. Now this is the only difference. Instead of doing the fifth fret, you do the fourth fret. Pluck that one and the one under it should be even. It's not. That's good for now. Now, next one. Going back down to the string below that one, we go back to the fifth fret. So, drop it right there. Okay, now I'm going to go from the top down one more time just to make sure everything stayed in tune before I give it that strum. And the strum may be off a little bit. We may still hear a little bit of a wave. And we can go back through it again and find those strings that are out. Usually there's one or two that may be out. So let's just see. So I'll do it from the top. Now, one, one or two kind of sound a little wonky to me, but I'm going to leave it here for now and give it a strum. Sounds good when I hit it. And that's it. Now, here is a little tip when you're tuning. When you tune, make sure that when you're pushing it down, you use the tip of your finger. Don't use the flat of your finger because you can mute the other string when it lays against it. Hear that? That's because the fat of my finger is laying against the string under it. That's why I want to use the tip of my finger straight in and only push that one down. And when you're pushing it down with the tip of your finger, don't bend it. If I bend it, it'll put it out of tune and that will cause me to make the next one out of tune and the next one out of tune and it'll be just a domino effect, okay? So I really hope that helps you understand that you can actually tune your guitar without a tuner. Now it's always preferable to use a tuner. 
you'll be precise and on point. But sometimes it's not that easy and you may be in a position to where you have to tune it immediately without a tuner. Using this technique is a very basic, very old technique. It's in the fifth fret all the way down except for that third string you go down to the fourth fret and make every string under it sound the same. If you do that, you'll get yourself in tune. Even if you're quick and inaccurate with it, you'll be more in tune than you were before. So thank you for watching. I hope this helps. Leave a comment. Tell us if it helps. Tell us if you've got other techniques. Give us some feedback. And if there's anything else you'd like me to go over, please leave me a comment. Also, like and subscribe. Share the page. Let everybody else know about it. But like and subscribe. It really helps us out here to keep this going. Thank you for watching and have fun.